Dingle batch number six triple distilled single malt Irish whiskey. What's it like and should you be chasing this? Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. Well, Mark Coppin here for Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you the first ever Dingle single malt Irish whiskey on my channel. And this is a special one. It is, what do they call it now? Batch number six, sixth small batch release. This one is fully matured in tawny port casks and it's unchill filtered and it's 46% ABV. I don't see any mention about color being added or not added here. So we'll assume there's a little bit added, but uh, tawny port casks do produce quite a bit of color. So uh, that could very well be uh, natural in color. Dingle, this is not sourced. This is um, uh, distillery produced. It's great to see these new distilleries, not so new here, but new distilleries doing big things in Ireland. Let's get this poured. You can hear my kids running around upstairs. Sorry about that. And unlike Ruby port casks, it doesn't have that pinkish glow, but it certainly has a nice, well, a bright, vibrant, goldy, orangey hue to it, doesn't it? Very nice. So here on the channel, we will look at the color of this Dingle sixth small batch whiskey. We'll check out the legs and then we'll get into the nose, the palate and the finish, neat, and then with water, and then give it a whiskey with a whiskey score. So stay tuned for that one. And before we get started, make sure you subscribe to Whiskey Whistle. Hit the little emblem here that says subscribe. I think it's green. Click on that, subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be notified of future Whiskey Whistles. And if you're already enjoying the channel, then why not support the channel and jump in on Patreon. Join the Whiskey Whistle crew. Patreon.com forward slash Whiskey Whistle. Get your name in the credits at the end of each video. You'll also get advanced viewership uh, viewing of future Whiskey Whistles. Hopefully we'll see you there. Okay, so the color of this dingle, we talked a little bit about that, but let's look at that on a white background. So what do you see there? I can't get a good look from that angle. Almost like a, a burnished coppery color. And then next up the legs. Let's see how fast. What have we got for legs? Pretty slow first legs. Nice and thick. And the secondary legs just beginning now and they're also quite slow. I think we can look forward to a nice rich mouthfeel here. Tawny port casks especially do give a lot of residual sugars and flavor and compounds into the whiskey itself. Let's check out the nose together. Very fruity and very zingy. Wow, it's almost like bubbling in my nose or did that just splash on my nose somehow? No, it's, it's not bubbly. But very fruity, um, a nice amount of oak and vanilla. We have dried apricots, apricots, some very, very ripe almost dripping green grapes. And it reminds me a little bit of ice wine, Canadian ice wine, that very, very intense, sweet aroma. A little bit of citrus in there as well. And I think this is going to be fantastic. Um, it does not smell too young, which is great. So I don't know, to my nose, I don't know, is it eight years old? Is it seven years old? Is it nine years old? A little bit of cocoa powder as well, tickling my nose. And that fresh, uh, fresh sawn oak type of a sweet spice coming through. Wow, this is very complex. Nougat, the candy. Nougat, the candy, you know, the white confectionery with little jujubes in it. Or almonds or pistachio. And some marron, uh, the hazelnut confectionery as well. Roasted and sweetened hazelnut. 
So I guess two types of nougat. <laughs> okay, on to the palate. Boy, that's quite nice. Cheers, everybody. Intense sweetness, big, big fruitiness, some vibrant, but not overpoweringly so, um, oakiness, more citrus, like um, crystallized dried orange rind. Those dried apricots as well. Candy shop, hard candies. I was expecting there to be some effervescent fizziness, sherbetiness, but it's fairly minimal in comparison to the nose, what I had expected. And the mouthfeel certainly is syrupy, very sweet. I can feel some residual sweetness on my lips. For the Canadians into single malt, Canadian single malt that are watching, I'm reminded of uh, two brewers released 20, the maple syrup cask 40% that really um, pulled so much of the maple syrup from the, uh, the staves that it's almost liqueur-esque. This is somewhere in between uh, those two parameters, parameters, those two range, that range, A and B. <laughs> hmm. Nice. Okay, and we'll add some spring water. I think I'll use space side this time. And uh, for people who are watching, this one is uh, 161 ppm. So fairly light in terms of mineral content. Should be fairly neutral. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten drops. Seems like a lot, but that is actually about two thirds of a milliliter. And just given the sweetness, the intensity, I feel like this is gonna do some great things here. You get some more mandarin skins, um, canned mandarin, the apricot, uh, apricot still there. We still have the nougat, both kinds. And there is an intense tropical note here as well. And it's hiding behind there. And it again reminds me a little bit of uh, 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 tamarind, sweet tamarind, uh, like uh, um, sticky toffee candy like stuff. It's got some nice spice to it and quite nice. And I think it's a worthwhile um, worthwhile ex 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 exploration, adding a little bit of water. Onto the palate again, cheers. With water, you get a little bit more astringency and dryness coming through. Some candied ginger alongside all of those fruity notes. Hmm. And the finish in both cases, very fruity and very long. And this would definitely qualify as a fruit bomb in terms of whiskey lingo. There is some, um, uh, the wine that Tawny Port which is, you know, made with like white wine, 
Um, the, the wine notes are coming in on the palate with water added, and it's really quite nice. A little bit umami. <laughs> Pardon the noise. I could turn the gain down a little bit. And then I'll just speak a little bit louder to make up for it. Hmm. Well, quite enjoyable. I would not shy away from Dingle thinking that it's maybe a little bit too young for your, you know, refined and uh, experienced whiskey palate. Put that aside and give it a try. It certainly will be continuing to develop as a distillery and as a single malt. The older and older the stocks get and the more and more experience uh, the people who have their hands uh, uh, working on the project. One of whom I'll mention quickly, Graham Cool. Um, he is uh, the master blender over at, uh, pardon me, master distiller over at Dingle Distillery. Hi, Graham, and hope you're very well. The first on the channel. I'm sorry that took so long. Well done here. This is probably your work. Hmm. Quite nice. Graham joined on about two years ago, coming from Glen Moray. All right. Well, it's that time. Let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Dingle Distillery Batch 6 Small Batch Release. Irish single malt whiskey. What is that going to be, folks? It's going to be 89 out of 100. You heard it. 89 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Dingle batch number six. Very nice. Definitely needs an Irish whiskey hug. Mmm. And a little kiss on their little uh, little guy there. I'm not sure what what or who that is. You can let me know in the comments, please. Mwah. Very nice. Beautiful artwork on the back as well. And quite a, a nice looking bottle. For bottle design, I'm definitely behind this one for sure. So let me know what you think of this one. Uh, again, file that under under Fruit Bomb. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a port bomb, it's a fruit bomb. It's an Irish single malt whiskey bomb. It's quite nice. And uh, again, well done to Dingle Distillery. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Mark Kaufman. You're watching Whiskey Whistle. Take care, folks. We'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.